Now, in the news this evening, it's not just people being vaccinated in East Sussex at the moment. Soon, it'll be badgers as well. The government wants to phase out badger culls as a way of controlling TB in cattle. And one way they think they could achieve that is by jabbing badgers instead. They've just announced a £2 million vaccination trial in East Sussex. And someone who's been calling this for over a year is Maria Caulfield, the MP for Lewis. And it's happening in her constituency. And she joins me now. Maria Caulfield, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Danny. Hi there. Um, so tell us about this study, who's carrying out and how it might work. So we've been campaigning for a long time uh, to get badger vaccination uh, programmes because uh, East Sussex is a high-risk area for TB, so it is a really important issue for our farmers. Um, and, you know, while culls uh, of badgers have been happening, we've been arguing for a long time that vaccination programmes are a way forward. Um, and so East Sussex has been chosen by the government as a pilot area, um, and uh, a local veterinary group will be delivering this with farmers. Um, and basically badgers will be... Um, vaccinated on an annual basis over a five-year period and the pilot study the evidence um, from this will hopefully show that vaccinations um, are a good way of stopping TB in cattle and and obviously in the badger population themselves. And and would you support the vaccination why why not the culls that we have been seeing because they're not uncontroversial are they? No, I mean, the culls do work. You know, the evidence does show that culling the badger population reduces TB in cattle. But, you know, it's a very blunt instrument. And for those of us who are passionate animal lovers, um, you know, we don't want to see um, badgers um, uh, culled. And if the vaccination program can show, you know, as good, if not better results, then that's a much more environmentally friendly way of, uh, of doing that. But it is quite labour intensive. So this is over 250,000, uh, 250 square kilometres of land we're talking about um, and badgers have to be trapped um, and caught and vaccinated and you don't have to vaccinate every badger Um, it's a bit like the the covid vaccine you start to introduce a a level of immunity once you reach a certain level of of vaccination Um, so we are just uh, encouraging farmers and landowners um, to allow this um, this pilot study to go ahead on their land Um, and it's pretty exciting because i've been calling for it since i was elected in in 2015 Um, And I'm really excited the government's chosen East Sussex as as one of the key areas to drive this forward. Yeah, it feels like they're quite close to the land because you you shepherd S as well, don't you? (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, TB has uh, increased. And in East Sussex, for example, it's gone up by 3.4%, um, uh, you know, for, for our, our in, in our area. And you should never underestimate the devastation for farmers if, if their cattle uh, test positive. You know, it has huge implications for them financially, but for their cattle, their animals that then have to be put down. It's, you know, if you meet some of the farmers and hear some of their stories, it's really horrific. And so this would, should hopefully be a win win for farmers for badgers and for those of us who are are passionate animal um lovers so you know i'm i'm really pleased we've been chosen and i'm hoping that the the pilot scheme will show a really positive result and culls will be a thing of the past and vaccination programs will be the way forward the nfu have said that moving away from culling goes against the evidence and will jeopardize the fight against bovine tb what would you say in reply to that yeah, you know, I hear farmers, um, you know, uh, you know, as I said, the, the, the devastation of, of uh, uh, your cattle testing positive, you know, should not be underestimated. And the animal welfare issues then of, of them having to be put down as a result of that. And that's why this pilot study is trying to find an alternative way, because culling, unfortunately, does work, but it's a very blunt instrument. And we do need to, to uh, help protect our farmers, protect their, their herds from TB. Um, and that's why this is a pilot study. And if the evidence from this shows it works, then this is a way forward. And and farmers need to see that evidence to be able to get behind uh, the project.